So shares in Israel's biggest drug company hit a six-month high as analysts welcome the company's new CEO. Tiva Pharmaceutical climbed 3% in Israel on news that Jeremy Levin will take over the top job in May. Uh, that, but if we just look at where they are overall, you can see it's still down by uh, more than 10% over the last 12 months. Just giving you an idea, putting the share price into some perspective. Well, Stephen Tepper is a senior analyst for Pharma and uh, Biomed at Harrell Finance, joins us now from the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. And so if we just start with the new boss at Tiva, uh, what are your thoughts on him? Do you share the investor optimism that we're seeing, a 3% rise in the share price the last couple of days? Uh, yeah, we, we uh, at Tyrell Finance really uh, uh, like this uh, uh, move. Dr. Uh, uh, Jeremy Levine is a physician, he's a scientist, and he's a business leader. Uh, he has enormous uh, experience in the pharmaceutical industry, in bristol Myers Squid, in, in Novartis, and he's the right person at the right time to move Teva forward and, and, and really turn it uh, into a, a global and fully integrated pharmaceutical company. Stephen, you're very positive about him, and I know that you've talked about the new CEO being able to communicate uh, Tiva's value to Wall Street, but if we just look at where we've been in the U.S., uh, the stock has fallen over the last 12 months, hasn't it? I mean, it was down more than, if we just look at that, it was down more than 20% in 2011 before the rally of the last couple of days. So I'm just wondering how difficult it's going to be for Jeremy Levin uh, to convince U.S. investors of a company's value. Well, um, uh, the company is uh, actually in a transition. It's a, it's a leader in the generic uh, industry, and it has that uh, great addition of Copaxon. But Copaxon is, is actually losing, uh, uh, losing its patent soon, and, and the company has to move out of its dependence on Copaxon. And uh, uh, the current CEO, um, Shlomo Yanai, did a great job in diversifying the company. He uh, diversified geographically into uh, in Europe and in uh, uh, Japan and South America, and he's a diversified uh, branded uh, uh, business with the, in women's health and the uh, acquisition of Cephalon and, and the joint venture with Proc Procter & Gamble uh, in uh, OTC uh, branded products. So um, uh, Dr. Jeremy uh, Levine is going to bring his uh, uh, innovative experience and, uh, and uh, continue developing especially the branded uh, side of uh, Teva uh, to fully uh, turn it into a global pharmaceutical company and the stock yeah. Uh, uh, Dr. Jeremy Levine uh, uh, said in his conference call, in the conference call, that he's going to make uh, much more transparency, and I think he's 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 yep. the person to, yep. to really communicate the real value of Teva to, yep. uh, to Wall Street. No, you're 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 very you're very bullish on, on this particular company, but I just want to move on and ask you about other Israeli biomed and pharma companies, Stephen. Uh, Protolactics lost almost 50 percent last year after a delay in approving one of its drugs. Now you're forecasting a rebound in the stock, right? Why is that? Yeah, Protalix uh, is, a, is a, its lead uh, product, uh, Opliso for Goucher's disease. Uh, we believe it will be approved in, in, in May. Um, in, in 2011, we had a disappointment. There was uh, two delays in the, in the approval uh, of the drug by the FDA. Uh, the FDA requested additional information, and, and Protalix gave that information. There were some technical delays. And after 14 months of delay, the, the, the stock fell 50 percent. But uh, you know, uh, looking at the situation uh, now, uh, we believe they will be approved it in May. And once it gets uh, approved, and once we get towards that approval, uh, this approval will bring validation to its platform and, and enable the company to go out and push additional uh, uh, products uh, that they're developing into yeah. clinical development. Stephen Tepper, senior analyst for Pharma and Biomed at Harold Finance. Thank you so much. Really good to talk to you from Tel Aviv.